Hello and welcome to a slightly noisy M25. You may recognise the viaduct behind me. It carries the line from London Marylebone all the way to Birmingham Snow Hill. But I'm actually not here to see the trains. I'm here because I'm standing in an isolated pocket of woodland between the M25, the railway and another main road just down there. What it's done is it's created a kind of oasis of biodiversity. And I'm here to see Network Rail's ecologists to understand what we're doing to look after it. Yeah. We are managing the woodland next to this part of the railway to create a safe line side, not only for the people who are travelling on the trains, but also our colleagues working line side. But fundamentally, we can do that at the same time as managing it for the biodiversity and the habitats that we've got here. When you, l when you don't manage the trees, you can end up with hazardous trees quite close to the railway. And we need to get those out of the way because we can't have something that might fall over that close to the tracks. But then what you do, you do this veteranisation so you can have something with the same features but that you know is stable. And what this does, it takes a relatively young tree and it provide, you give it the features that you would normally expect to see on something like this big one behind me. So that you, you create holes in it that birds and bats can crawl into. You create the sort of the fissures under the bark that the insects can crawl into as well. It just makes really good biodiversity habitat. As to what an actual veteran tree should look like, our boriculturalist Simon has found the perfect ash. It's a, it's a big tree, it's obviously been there a while, it's had time to, to grow, to expand, to fill its, its environmental hole. You can also see by the, the shape and the form that it's got various forms of bark damage, it's got knolls, it's got um, scars and cankers on it that are, are basically forming little microhabitats within the tree itself. So birds, insects, various things can live on it. It's a great place for fungi, it's a great place for bacteria. There's a huge crack running down the side, you can see visible almost from top to bottom. That's a lightning strike that allows insects, birds to uh, take advantage of that newly created habitat. Our role as arboriculturalists within Network Rail is to find these trees, protect these trees, promote these trees and in some cases enhance these trees to create a better railway. You'll see lots of trees like this along the line side where the team have cut away at the living edge of the tree, the bit of the tree that carries all the nutrients, and have left behind the solid core. This will stand here for years to come, providing a fantastic home for all kinds of creatures. In fact, when I sat down to film this, I disturbed a beetle that had set up home just here in the trunk. Sorry about that. We're going to be doing a lot of work along the railway as we get into spring and summer. And if you'd like to find out more about what we do and how we do it, head to networkrail.co.uk forward slash sustainability.